Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a Wix website for school. With Wix, you'll be able to create an account for completely free. All you need to do once on Wix.com, you're going to tap on Get Started. After selecting Get Started, from here you can choose to sign up using either your Google account, Facebook account, or your Apple account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in using my Google account. Once you're signed in, you'll be redirected to a dashboard just like this. On this dashboard, you're going to tap on Create New Site in the top right-hand corner. <clears throat> After you have done that, from here, I want you to tap on Bill on the Wix editor. So you're going to tap on that. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. And you're going to tap on Set Up Without Chat. After selecting set up without chat, on the search bar, you're going to add the type of website that you would like to create. So you can type in whatever example you want. So for example sake, let's say I would like to create a photography portfolio. I could type in photography right there. Then you can see the different subdomains as you can see right here. So you can select any one of these options. After you have done that, you are going to tap on continue and you will be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, you are going to add in the name of your site. So I'm just going to call it test site. Then you will tap on continue. From here, you will be able to choose the apps that you would like to add. For example, if you are creating a portfolio website, you can tap on portfolio and that would allow you to showcase your work. If it is a case that you're creating a website to sell tickets or RSVPs, you can select events. If you would like to display your Instagram feed on your website, you can select Instagram feed. You can also add bookings, which will allow you to collect bookings on your Wix website. You can also select blog. You could add a pricing plan. You can also add forms if you like to collect information. And if it is a case that you would like to sell video or streams, you can select video. You can also use it to sell music by selecting music. You can also use it to sell and create an online course. So you can see that there are numerous options that you can select from. Once you have selected the apps that you would like to add, you are going to tap on continue. Then select continue once more. After you have done that, you will be redirected to your dashboard. Now, on your dashboard, you'll need to pay attention to the left-hand menu option. Depending on the apps that you have chosen earlier, for example, I had chosen the portfolio app. If I were to select portfolio, I'll now be able to display my work. So I could select pro so I could select portrait right here or landscape or fashion or all three if I want. And if I decided to set it up without AI, I could tap on set up without AI, then tap on add project in the top right hand corner, and I'll be able to display my work. Now to add a blog to your website, you'll tap on blog from the left hand menu option. Then you can select post and you can choose to create a new post. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And if you would like to use the Wix AI to create an article for you, you can tap on AI tools in the bottom left hand corner. Then from there, you could select blog posts and you could type in your topic. After you have done that, you could tap on next, whether it is a project or whether it is a product review or so on, you can select that and you'll be able to create your article using the Wix AI. Once you're finished, now to customize how your website looks, you're going to tap on set up in the top left hand corner. Then you're going to select design site. After selecting design site, you're going to tap on pick a template. Once you have selected pick a template, you can choose from any one of these themes. And if you would like to change the theme, you can tap right where you see photographer in the top right hand corner. And then from there, you could type in something else, any other topic, and you'll see other options that you can choose from. So let's say I were to select portfolio, you can see different options right here. Normally, I would select the best match and tap on edit. After you have done that, you're going to give it a few seconds. 
and you will be redirected to the Wix editor page. On the Wix editor page, you'll be able to further customize how your website appears. So for example, you can edit the text and all of that. So I'm going to close the pop-up. Then what I would normally do is tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. Now you can change anything you want. So to change the header section, you can hover over that. Then tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. I could change the initials right here if I wanted to. After you have done that, if it is a case that you would like to change the header color, you can also do that. So for example, I could tap on the header section, tap on change background. Then from there, I could change the color or I could change it to an image as you can see right here. So you can select any one of these options. And also, if you would like to change the header style, at the moment, this is how the header looks. But if you would like to change the style, you can simply select the header. Then you can tap right where you see manage menu. After you have tapped on manage menu, you will be redirected to this little pop up. Now, if you would like it to be a drop down menu, like it to be a drop down menu, you can slightly drag the pages that you would like to be the drop down option to the right. So for example, you can see now the about section is a sub page for portfolio. And I could also do that with blog and contact as you can see right there. If we'd like to change the current header style, we can do that. All we'll need to do is select the header. Then you could right click. After you have done that, you can tap on design. Once you have tapped on design, you can see the different header options that you can select right here. So you can select any one of these options. And by the way, if you would like to change your menu to an hamburger menu, all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner, tap on add elements. Then from there, you can select menu and anchor. Then right where you see hamburger menus, you can select that. And you can select, for example, this, and you can simply drag and place it right there. After you have done that, if we were to tap on preview right now, once you have tapped on the three dashes, you can see the menu option appear. Once you have added that, if you'd like to remove this, you can simply select the current header. So let us go back to editor. You could select the header section, then right click. And from there, you could tap on delete to remove it. Another thing that you can also do to view all the pages on your website, you'll tap on the third icon that says pages and menu. And from here, you'll see all of the pages that are currently on your website, as you can see here. To add a page, you'll tap on add page and you'll be able to add a new page. You can choose whether you'd like to add a blank page, about page, services page, projects page, any type of page, you can quickly add it onto your website. And also, if you would like to add any other feature, all you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner. So for example, if you would like to create a website that accept payments, you could simply hover over a button then you could add PayPal. And by the way, you will be able to collect PayPal for completely free. You can see other elements that you can quickly drag and drop. So it is quite easy if you like to add a store, booking or anything like that to your website, you can do that. And that's how you'll basically edit your website. If it is a case that you would like to further ask me any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on publish and you'll be provided with a free domain name. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.